Guys, I literally had a little freak out on my way here because while I was driving, the person in front of me was driving in the wrong direction. They were coming straight for me. <laughs> Oh, and it made me think I was driving in the wrong direction, but I wasn't, girl. Luckily, they were pretty far ahead of me, but it really freaked me out. And they quickly turned into like a business and then backed out and went the right way. But sorry if I'm a little frazzled. <laughs> Hopefully the bottom milk biscuits help me. So, hi guys. Today, I am taste testing Cracker Barrel's brand new items. Yes, they dropped three new meals, okay? I'm gonna give you my honest opinion, rate them from one to 10, and let you know if they're worth trying. Also, I'm a little extra frazzled because I didn't eat breakfast. Yes, it's true. I forgot to eat breakfast. I'm, <laughs> I feel like one of those people that's like, I forgot to eat, oh my God, I'm so dainty. <sighs> that's never been me, but it is today, girl. <sighs> so I'm extra hungry. I ordered all the food through the app, so I'm just gonna pick it up and then eat it in the car. The new items are Smoky Southern Grilled Chicken. I got it with two sides. I got, I think, mashed potatoes and loaded steak fries. <laughs> two types of potatoes. You know I'm their queen. Also, they now have a steak and egg hash brown casserole meal. <laughs> I adore Cracker Barrel's hash brown casserole, so the fact that there's steak and eggs on top of it, it's like a bowl kind of, and it has like fried onions, all these different things. It looks fantastic. And then last but not least, I also got the Biscuit Bene, which is basically an Eggs Benedict, but with biscuits. And I'm super hyped to try it because I personally love Eggs Benedict. Eggs Bene, I love Hollandaise sauce, or whatever it's called. It's so rich and delicious. Oh my God. And I got the Biscuit Bene with the fried apples and sliced tomatoes. Yes. That's a side here at Cracker Barrel. So I was like, I've never had their sliced tomatoes. I don't know what tomatoes taste like. <laughs> I have to taste test it. So, and of course I got a saiza. And um, I also asked for pickle ranch, but it said error when I added it to my meal. So they're probably not going to give it to me, but hopefully they somehow do because pickle ranch sounds amazing. I love pickles and I love ranch. You know that. So Anyways, I'm gonna go inside, get my food, but first guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It really helps my channel out, and it's the easiest way to support me. Also, subscribe if you're new here. I'm talking much faster than I usually do, and I'm slaying it. <sighs> okay, let's go inside. I'm gonna calm down, I promise. I'm sorry. It was just, there was a series of weird events. I feel like a lemon, I snack it. Hello, how are you? Uh, picking up Timothy Alvarez. Uh, did you pay for it already? Yes, online. Wait a few minutes. If it doesn't come through, I'm going to go in the back and check, okay? Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, what's your name? Um, Timothy Alvarez. Timothy. Don't, don't complicate it. Huh? Don't complicate it too much. Oh, I'm not Timothy. complicating it. I have a, um, a, a stutter, um, and so sometimes I get stuck no, no, when no, I I'm talk. Saying, no, no, don't say that. I don't, I don't even notice that. Oh. I say, instead of you saying Timothy, then uh -huh. you add an Alvarez. Oh, I get you. <laughs> Timothy then. Guys, oh, people are just annoying me today. And I'm usually not this type of person. But maybe now that I'm a driver, I'm like becoming that type of person. I was just trying to move spots in the parking lot. And this family of like 10 comes out of Cracker Barrel and they walk in front of me, which is totally fine. They're just like crossing to their car, but they took their sweet time. They were just literally just like talking, walking super slow. And, I, and at one point they stood right in front of my car while I was waiting. And they just didn't move for a good like 15 seconds. I didn't want to honk in their faces, but I almost did girl. Like how self-centered can you be? When I'm crossing the parking lot, and I see a car trying to like come through, I will fast walk. I'll be like, ooh, ooh, choo, 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 you know? <laughs> Maybe I'm just a wonderful person. Maybe it's that. I am parked under a tree. So hopefully my camera doesn't overheat. Also, that whole pickup experience was a little odd. When I told her my name, first of all, sometimes because of my stutter, I have to take a deep breath before I say something that I'm nervous about, like my name, which is so dumb, but it makes me nervous. So I took my deep breath and I said, Timothy Alvarez, which is my name. And she was like, don't complicate it. And I thought that she was talking about the fact that I took a pause. I don't know, because I feel like it's normal to say your full name, right? The receipt says Timothy Alvarez. It isn't, <laughs> that's not out of the ordinary, but she wasn't rude. You know, um, I could tell that she was Cuban. I am Cuban. And a big part of the Cuban culture is this kind of bluntness. But I also think that she was trying to joke. 
So I, it's, it's like totally fine. It isn't a big deal at all. It just made me nervous about my stutter for a second. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> sorry about all that. Let's eat, I'm hungry. Give me a basket. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, okay, so woo, woo -hoo -hoo. this is the um, steak and eggs hash brown casserole. It's like, it looks small, right? It looks dainty. It's super heavy. Feels like there's a whole brick in here. <gasps> wow. Yeah, ooh, it smells like fish. Why does this smell like fish? Like full on fish. It smells like Long John Silver's. <laughs> okay, fishy queen. Ah! Not the tomatoes. So, yeah, so it seems to have some fried onions, tomatoes, green onions. It's cute. You can see the scrambled egg there, the steak, and then the hash brown casserole is underneath, okay? And then this is the grilled, um, what was it? S smoky and Southern chicken, I think. That looks good. Mm. Oh, that smells good. That actually smells fantastic. Wow. Okay. It smells very smoky, very like, you know, barbecued. There's the mashed potatoes. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. These are the loaded steak fries, guys. Okay. This is just a side. And they came in their own container and they're extremely heavy. <gasps> Look at that cheese sauce. Wow. I'm impressed. For real. They smell so bacony. I feel like when I had the loaded fries in the past, they just had like some like shredded cheese on them. This is like a legit like queso moment. Oh, one of the things that you guys complain about the most on my channel is the way I say queso. I say queso, queso, queso. What do you say, queso? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I am half Cuban, but just because I don't know how to say queso doesn't mean I'm any less Cuban than the half of me that I am, you know? And then we got, oh, wow. This is the um, Benny, whatever, eggs Benny, no, biscuit Bennies. This looks fantastic. Ugh. Oh my goodness, Woo! The apple smells so good. So we have the fried apples, the slices of tomato, and the biscuit butter. So the biscuit Benny has biscuits, hollandaise sauce, eggs, um, bacon. I think I got the eggs scrambled. I should have got them over easy. I wasn't thinking. I always pick scrambled for like everything, but with eggs Benedict, they should be like yolky, right? Yolky and um, some tomatoes and green onions. They put tomatoes and green onions on basically everything, girl. I am gonna get my thumbnail real quick. So let's do this. I think I'm gonna use the hash brown casserole even though it smells fishy, it looks real pretty, right? It really smells like a fish. Oh yeah, the other day, someone in the comments got really mad at me because um, I mentioned arm day again, because I've been working out. I like talking about my big manly muscles and they just got upset about it. So this is just for you. Oh, I didn't do arm day today, but look at them. Look at them go. It's just for you, queen. Okay, I'm in a salty mood today. I'm so sorry. Last night was rough. I have to tell you guys about it. It was a bad experience. Oh, okay. So everything looks great. Um, did they give me pickle? Oh my gosh. Pickle ranch. They gave me the pickle ranch. Let's smell it. It smells like a pickle. And it smells like ranch. Oh my gosh. I'm so hyped right now. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, sprayed. Let's first try the biscuit Benny meal. Okay. So last night was rough. You guys know I have dry eye and I have dealt with corneal erosions for 13 years now. In case if you haven't heard of a corneal erosion, basically when your eye gets so dry in the middle of the night, your eyelid gets stuck to the like surface of your eyeball and then it rips your eyeball, okay? That's happened to me hundreds of times, to be honest. Let me continue the story after I try some stuff. Okay, let's first try these tomatoes, which are not new, but I've never had them. <laughs> oh, wow, so fresh. It's a tomato. Wow. But weirdly, it tastes like Burger King's like Whopper tomatoes. Burger King's Whopper tomatoes have a specific flavor. 
These have the same flavor. You know? They're fine. I'm not going to rate those. They're not new. And the fried apples. I think I had these a long time ago. They have the skin on them. Interesting. You know, they have great flavor. They're just like the inside of an apple pie. Cinnamon, cinnamon sweet. But I don't like the texture. They have the texture of canned apples, like that grittiness. And I don't like the fact that they have their skin on them. I feel like it just adds this weird chewiness that doesn't feel natural with cooked apples. No. Flavor's good, texture's bad. Let's try this biscuit butter. Okay, we got some eggs, hollandaise sauce, biscuit, bacon. Ooh, the bacon's quite crispy. Okay, let's get some hollandaise sauce, tomatoes, green onions. We got everything in one bite. I almost went down my throat. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. Que rico. Mmm. Oh, yeah. There's about four strips of bacon on this. That's not bad at all. This bacon. Oh. I wish that they chopped the bacon up. Because... Bacon's really hard to cut. Because it's bacon. It's like chewy, right? That's a weird choice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It has some issues, that's for sure. But I'm enjoying it still. Mmm. Mmm. I've had much better Eggs Benedict, but listen, I love Eggs Benedict, like, so much that I'm just, like, devouring this, too. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it. First complaint, it's a little small. I feel like there's only, like, one biscuit here, I think, cut in half. See, it's a half a biscuit. And that's just not enough for an entree. I feel like there should be two. I know that you get sides and all that, but you know, it just should be heartier. Now, all the different aspects taste great. The eggs taste great, biscuit tastes great, bacon tastes nice and crispy, thick, fresh. Love that. But the hollandaise sauce, wow, it is flavorful. It has that rich hollandaise flavor. It's a teeny tiny bit watery. It should be thicker. Not just in texture, but also in flavor. It just, it, sh it should be a little more rich, you know? Also, I don't think that there's enough of it to like really soak into the biscuit and all that, you know? And I really don't like the tomato and the green onions with this dish. I feel like it adds this weird pico de gallo aspect to it that just doesn't match the other flavors at all. I just don't think that this dish needs a fresh tomato-y aspect to it. <laughs> I mean, I got tons of tomatoes here, but you know what I mean? So. While it is still good, it has issues. Also, the bacon should have been cut into little pieces. I'm gonna give this Eggs Benedict, or this Biscuit Benet, a 5.5 5 out of 10 for Eggs Benedict, but I still enjoyed it, you know? Could be a lot better. So anyways, let me pause and talk about what happened to my eyes last night. So, like I said, I've dealt with corneal erosions for so many years now. But the thing with corneal erosions is typically, it's super painful. My eyes like watering, there's a little rip in there. I can't see it, but it's, it, it is there. When I go back to bed, I typically wake up and in the morning, it just kind of self healed. It's like almost all the way gone. Like my vision is like sometimes a little blurry for like a day because of the irritation, all that stuff, but it typically goes away by itself. Now, one time when I <laughs> was in Virginia, during the winter, the corneal erosion was so severe that it didn't go away by itself. It 
honestly took off the whole top layer of my eye. <laughs> and I had to go to an eye doctor there that to put like a contact bandage on it, all that, all that stuff, right? All that good stuff. And it took days to heal. It was very, very, very severe. That was the one time that I went back to bed and in the morning it wasn't better. That was the only time. Now last night, in the middle of the night, I woke up with a pain. Now to me, the pain felt like there was something stuck in my eye, like a big eyelash or something like that. And a lot of the times corneal erosions can feel like there's a really painful eyelash in your eye. So I was like, oh no, is it happening again? And the tricky thing is you just never fully know if it's a corneal erosion or if there's something actually stuck in, in your eye. Now this time I like tried to go back to bed and for like an hour, it just wasn't getting better. And like typically it does slowly like get better like within the first hour and I can fall back asleep. This time it wasn't. It still felt like there was something in there. So I was like, maybe there actually is something in there this time. So I went to the bathroom and I tried to like open my eye even though it was super painful. I was like pulling my eyelid off my eye so that I just didn't feel that like discomfort, you know? And I just tried to blink in like different directions. And during this whole hour, I was just panicking because I was like, oh my gosh, is this like the Virginia time where my whole eyeball ripped off? Like it was just it, like I, I was so terrified. It was extremely stressful. But then luckily, I just started to like blink in like different directions, all that stuff. And finally, the pain went away. So I'm pretty sure this time it was not a corneal erosion. There was something stuck in my eye, like an eyelash or something. And I just somehow moved it to like one of the sides so that it wasn't just like in the front where it's very painful, you know what I mean? So anyways, that's what happened last night. I'm sorry about this long tangent, but I just had to update you guys on my life because I'm in this mood for a reason. <laughs> it was very rough. I didn't get that much sleep, but I am extremely grateful that it was probably an eyelash. So next up, let's try these steak fries. Now, like I said, these aren't new, but I have never had this cheese sauce on them. So let's try it. Oh, is that sauce? Yeah. There's like cheese sauce and a melted cheese. Oh, both. We love that. Ah! Oh yeah. Miss Barrel. Oh! These are it. These are it. That cheese sauce. Queen. Oh, so crispy. Come on! Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This is a side, girl. This is one of the best sides ever. I'm really shooketh. Okay, one more bite, because I have to keep eating, but. Oh my god. Mm, okay. So those aren't new, so I'm, I, I'm not gonna go super in depth with my critique, but first of all, the fries were extremely crispy today. Salty, amazing. The cheese sauce. <laughs> Reminds me of Wendy's Baconator cheese sauce. You know what I'm talking about? It's like this really processed, trashy mac and cheese sauce almost. Amazing. The bacon pieces taste fantastic. The actual shredded cheese also tastes fantastic. These are just fantastic steak fries. Even though they're not new, I'm going to rate them 10 out of 10. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Those leftovers are going to slay. Next up. Let's try the smoky and southern grilled chicken. Of course, I got mashed potatoes with it. Cracker Barrel's potatoes always disappoint me. I'm always like excited to try them again. They taste real, but they taste flavorless. Like they forgot something. They're not bad, but they honestly just taste like black pepper with nothing else. Just black pepper and, and actual mashed potatoes, and that's it. I'm not gonna rate that, it's not new. Let's try this smoky grilled chicken.
Not smoky enough. <laughs> oh no! I just saw a bird fall from a tree. Like, it didn't fly down. It, girl, it fell. Is she okay? It fell into a bush. I see it in there! She was like, bye. She's moving around. She's okay, but she just plopped. Oh no. She saw me eating this chicken and she was like, not Teresa, my bestie. <laughs> so, this chicken, to be honest, tastes like any plain restaurant grilled chicken with a little bit of paprika or something to make it smoky. Girl, if you wanna make it smoky, put it in a, in a barbecue grill, you know? Add some firewood and all that, you know? <laughs> like, it's a pretty grilled chicken, but there's not much going on. I wouldn't get this again, unless if I was like really trying to be super healthy and like only eating grilled chicken and vegetables, you know? But to be honest, if I was making grilled chicken, I would add way more seasoning. Well, also, it's, it was a tiny bit rubbery, like a tiny bit overcooked. It's not great. I'm gonna have to give that one a four out of 10. Guys, Cracker Barrel today is very hit or miss. Hit or miss. So we have our last item. We have the fishy smelling um, <laughs> steak and eggs, hash brown casserole. It is giving Ursula. I'm gonna try to get everything in one bite. We have eggs, a piece of steak, Ooh, that feels tough. An onion. Let me get some hash brown casserole from down below. Wait, I don't have enough. There we go. Okay. Let's try it. I think the, ooh. The fishy flavor is coming from the steak. That's for sure. I'm not eating more of that steak. Ugh. Why is it so fishy? That's fishier than Red Lobster's whole menu put together, girl. taste everything else without the steak because the steak completely took over and I could only taste fish so let me get some onion rings or onion fried onion tumbling pieces whatever they're called I don't even know some hash brown casserole and some eggs okay let's try this what do you know it has flavor some I'm not loving the onions. They're extremely greasy, like wet greasy, and they don't really have an onion ring flavor. They just taste like fried batter. Ooh. Okay, let me just try the hash brown casserole and the eggs by themselves, okay? That'll probably slay me. And cheese. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Finally! Oh, this hash brown casserole, oh yeah. Girl, just get the hash brown casserole by itself. This is not a good dish. I'm honestly only gonna eat the eggs in the hash brown casserole. Everything else can rot. I mean, the steak already tastes a little rotten. So I'm not gonna eat it for safety reasons. But this hash brown casserole is amazing. So as a dish, I feel like this is not good. Like I said, onion strings are extremely greasy, nasty, disgusting. The steak is fishy, disgusting. The eggs are whatever, they're just eggs. And then the hash brown casserole is amazing. There is nothing in this dish that is tying everything together. No sauce, nothing like that. This feels like four separate items that have been layered. 
It does not taste cohesive at all. The steak is extremely chewy, by the way. Like, it was like chewing through an eraser, you know? Mm. But you can't go wrong with Cracker Barrel's hash brown casserole. It's classic. It's iconic. It has so much flavor. It's creamy. It's perfection. So, I'm going to give this whole dish a 2 out of 10. And I would recommend you just get the hash brown casserole by itself. Or maybe with eggs and that's it. You know? Because this is an awful, awful dish. To be honest, besides the steak fries, everything else was disappointing. Cracker Barrel, what has gone into you? Oh, last thing, guys. I wanted to tell you about this little moment that happened to me yesterday. So you guys know I'm on this journey of becoming like a social butterfly with my speech therapy and all that stuff, right? Well, I've always wanted to be like my sister. My sister, Sarah, is probably the most loved person that I know. She is the sweetest, nicest, most outgoing, wonderful creature on this earth. People just gravitate towards her. And she's so nice to everybody. She always compliments people when she notices something nice about them, even just like strangers. And she's always been my inspiration. I love her so much. And um, basically, I want to get to the point in my social butterfly journey where I am social enough that I can just compliment a stranger girl. I want to do that. I want to be that person that makes people feel nice, feel good about themselves, you know. Now, I'm not going to compliment straight men because they're going to think I'm flirting or something. <laughs> but, you know, like girls and everything, I mean, they can tell that I'm... Ah! So it's not like they're going to think that I'm like trying to flirt with them. It's obvious, you know what I mean? Anyways, what I'm saying is... I want to be like my sister. I want to do that. Well, yesterday, I feel like this was fate. This person was sent to me. Um, I was walking through a parking garage in the daytime. Don't worry. It wasn't like a shady garage. And this girl came up to me. She was like by herself. Like, and she was all dressed up looking gorgeous. Okay. And she was like, can you honestly tell me if my eye makeup looks good? And she had like the type of eye makeup where it was like a sticker, like you like stick it on and it's like like a 3D like dots and like, you know what I'm talking about? It's like a, it's, it's like golden makeup that's like 3D. It's like, it's like <laughs> I'm not making sense, but it's like a sticker. And she was like, does this look dumb? And when I tell you her makeup was stunning, her hair was stunning, her dress was stunning. I was like, girl, you look amazing. Your makeup your hair, your dress, everything. You, like, you look so good. And her face lit up. She was so happy. And it made my day. Now, I didn't make the initiative to do it, but I still felt like it was, like, my, like, first little compliment moment where I was like, oh my gosh, I complimented someone even though she came to me. I still did it. And then yesterday, I was at the supermarket and the cashier girl was so pretty. Like, she looked like a movie star. Stodden. And I wanted to tell her, like, and just say, like, you, you are slaying it. You're so pretty. Um, but she didn't seem like she was in the mood for that. Maybe I could have brightened her mood, but you know, like the energy didn't make me feel confident in doing it. So I didn't do it, but I wanted to, she was really pretty too. Anyways, <sighs> that was such a random tangent, but this was such a fun taste test guys. I'm very full. I'm going to take this home and I'm going to pick the steak off and just eat the hash browns and eggs. Overall, it was a disappointing taste test, but it was such a good venting session. I needed that. Like, honestly, like, with the eye thing happening, everything, I, I needed that. So, oh, by the way, in two days, I have my first, um, I think it's called intensive pulse light treatment for my eyes. Apparently, it's supposed to help with inflammation, and it's the first of four treatments. God, calm down! So, I'm excited. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys plan on trying Cracker Barrel's new items? If you do... Tell me all your thoughts, okay? I'll see you next video. I love you so much. I'm so upset, guys. I totally forgot to try the dill pickle ranch. Like, with my food. <laughs> what the heck? So, I'm gonna try it right now with a french fry. Dip it in. Oh! Oh, mm. It's good. Oh, that vein. I hate that. I hate my vein. I'm so insecure about it. Mm. It's giving pickles, but it's also giving potato salad, which is interesting. Like, strong potato salad vibes.
Hả? À? Ừ. Ok. À. Ừ. À, love it. That's a 10 out of 10. Mm. Fantastic experience. Okay. Love you. Bye.